Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL as we reappear in Sector 7, the Rebel Stronghold. We are of course playing in Advanced Edition on board the VSS Damnation, with a variety of deadly sins on board. We're also playing on Hard Mode in the Rebel Cruiser Type... the uh, Rebel Cruiser... the Zoltan Cruiser Type C, and it is giving us a bit of a hard time, but we've just acquired quite a good amount of scrap, which we are going to immediately spend. Doing so allows us to activate our Burst Laser! Huzzah! So now we actually have some more directed firepower after we blast the shields down with a flak, which should mean we can actually kill things now, which would be very nice, because up until now we've been having a hard time getting things to actually die. It's been a very slow process, involving a lot of risk to our own ship. This should give us the amount of damage we need to actually defend ourselves, which is great. Now that we have that set up, though, we have very little money to spend on anything else, which means we're at a bit of a risk. We're also going to move Sloth. Sloth is going to come sit in the shields. I'm not sure why they weren't sitting in there already, because that gives us the ability to constantly have a solid bar of unionable shield power, which is great. So we're going to save these new crew positions and leave it at that. Put the power back on the flak, though, because that's a good thing to have online, too. So... That should do it now. Let's keep jumping. Hopefully we can survive this rebel stronghold, because I've never seen this sector before and have no idea what we might face. Let's go. What do we find over here? We follow the stress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt where we find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. We hail them to offer assistance, and they say their shields are down and they won't last long. You know what? We're going to try and shield their ship with ours and see what happens. Despite our best efforts, the civilian ship breaks apart from the constant barrage. We're barely able to break out of the asteroid field ourselves. We get 31 scrap and take 4 damage to our hull, which sucks. That's why I didn't want to do that event last time, because I knew that was going to happen. It happened again here, too. Alright, well, that happened now. No chance on going back on it. Let's keep moving. Down low on hull, but if we make it to the end, we'll get a bunch of free repairs there. A rebel automated ship sits dormant near a rebel forward radar station. Hmm. So we can send a drone to distract the automated ship. I don't know what any of this does. Let's approach the station and just fight this thing, because I don't see why not, really. Yeah. The ship powers up and targets us. Well, that's to be expected. It's got a little missile and it's got a big laser. But we should be able to cloak out the big laser, so hopefully the little missile can't do much to us. Also, I want to get some power in here, so we're going to boost up our power into burst lasers. We can get it charging. Once they start firing, we'll activate the battery so we can put more power in our engines and actually dodge. Oh, and they're cloaked, too. Herp. All right, so we're going to just... Is it worth powering it up now? Yeah, why not? Power this up the evasion. Oh, it hits us anyway. All right. And now we can start charging our weapons. That's good. Here comes the big laser salvo, so we're going to dodge that one for sure. Are we able to... Uh... Yes, we are able to dodge both of them. Perfect. There we go. So that's lovely. We could turn the defense drone on to protect ourselves as well, but that's a little bit power hungry since we don't really have all that much power to spend here. Alright, now I think they're going to cloak immediately, but we're going to waste a shot anyway if they do. And we're going to spam the hull laser and the burst laser and the weapons. Well, at least we knocked out the missile. That's better than nothing. Not great aim, but whatever. They've cloaked out again, that's fine. And we should be able to power up soon. We might actually be able to dodge this thing again, because we have our... <laughs> they're alpha striking us. Perfect. So we can actually dodge this again. That's great. Power up our engines to give us at least 40% evasion, so they can't hit us with any shots here. And once they reappear, all we have to do is cloak, and they guaranteed miss us. Fantastic. So, we'll aim the flak over here again. There's a good chance we'll miss a lot of these shots, because that's how the flak works. If anywhere in this area the shots could go it means they'll miss if there's no system there. But when the flak fires, we'll be able to try and take out the rest of their weapons, and they won't be able to do much else to damage us. And there we go. Fire the weapons. And we turned the missile back on. That's probably not smart, but they do have three bars of Zoltan Energy Shield left, so that'll last us for a little while. Alright, what do you got for us? The missile's ready, but he's going to try and Alpha Strike us, so that's not bad. Reduces the number of times you can actually fire, because he'd probably be able to fire twice during that cloak if he tried. And we cloak out instead. There you go, you can't hurt us now, can you, friend? Let's flack him, and then we'll get ready to try and blast it with more lasers, and hopefully knock that missile offline this time. Flack away! Lasers go. And not quite. Alright, they're going to get one more missile off. This one hopefully misses us naturally. Nope. We have one more bar of Zoltan Overshields, though, so I don't need to worry about them actually hitting us until a little while later. Hopefully they try an Alpha Strike again, so I can get this our cloak recharged in time. No, we'll get it recharged in time anyway. Cloak! There we go. Now you can't hit us, sucker. So that'll give us a chance to hit you before you can hit us back. Past our Zoltan Overshield. Flak, ready to go. Lasers are ready to go. Flak is away. And... There we go, that's what we're talking about. They died. 
Fantastic. Auto scout down. We salvage 42 scrap and approach the station. It's used to relay information to the rebel fleet. We can attempt to hack it to give the rebels false information. This could probably double their rate of movement or do n reduce their rate of movement. Let's try to manually hack them to the station. We're unable to penetrate the computer's defenses and give up and return to the ship. All right, so nothing happened. Doesn't matter then. We're gonna buy more power bars because we need them immediately. So we can run our shields and our guns and our engines. We could even afford to buy more power bars, I think. But I think instead we're gonna buy a cloaking bar. And we're gonna jump. That cloaking bar means that if we power up the battery, we can use battery power to cloak with, which is probably pretty good. We detect a rebel automated ship nearby. It doesn't engage and seems to be patrolling around a long range sensor station. So obviously we're gonna go get that sensor station data, because it's probably just map data, but it's worth going to get. And that's a lot of beam drones, so that's going to wreck our shields really quick, and an ion blast, that's not good. So we're going to boost our evasion, we're not going to go for the cloak just yet, because it doesn't really make much difference right now. Oh, that's a powered up beam drone too, oh boy, These, that is nasty. That's pretty nasty. Alright, well hopefully we can keep dodging these like this, because that's awesome. If they hit us with one of these though, we're going to cloak soon. I think that only does two, yeah, okay, we're good. There goes the halberd beam. Flak! Oh, I have nowhere good to aim with this thing. There's no chance we're going to hit anything here. Right, let's aim here, though. And... They missed us again, which is great. And we're going to blast those weapons, because that can prevent them from doing anything to us. There we go. And we cloak now. Power in the cloak. Cloaking time. Just to make sure they can't do anything else to us for a while. There we go. Now they can't hurt us. They have nothing but beam weapons, and our shields are fully charged. We're laughing here. All right. All right. Interestingly enough... I thought I had battery power in there, but apparently not. Maybe you can't do it that way. We're going to blast them again. And blast them again. We actually shot one of their drones, too, so that's nice. <laughs> Insult to injury. Okay. Flak, same spot. They really can't do anything to us right now, so I'm fine with that. We're going for the helm this time, though, to prevent them from dodging us. Doink, doink. There we go. Now you can't run away. Interestingly enough, I have to fire the burst laser sooner than I think, because it takes longer to travel off the screen. So that's an interesting little conundrum. that will mess things up potentially for us. But we're fine here. They really can't do anything to us. So, Flak is away. Burst laser's away. Hull laser's away. There we go. Auto assault is down. That's actually a really powerful combo now. We get 25 scrap and map data. Fantastic. So... And we're going to use that immediately to buy ourselves more power, probably. Yeah, it looks like the battery doesn't like giving you cloak. Doesn't like giving you free cloak. So that's good to know. There's a store over there, but I don't think we really need to go to a store. I'm quite happy with what we've got right now. We could probably afford to sell one of these weapons, like this other flat gun, but I don't know. Maybe the ion would be better to sell. I don't know. I like having the ion in our inventory, because it gives us the opportunity to do ion events if we find them. But I don't know how likely that is, either. Let's just keep jumping. Let's just keep jumping and see what we find. What's this all about, then? We come across a Rebel Automated Scout ship pursuing a civilian ship with weapons engaged. Let's get help that civilian, then. We power up weapons to engage the automated ship. They have no drones this time. Oh, they have a hacking module instead, but they don't have drones. That's nice. That actually makes this considerably nicer for us. We're probably going to cloak out to dodge both of these attacks, because they fire at about the same time if memory serves. Yeah, there they go. All right, cloaking. Power it up. And dodge. Thank you very much. So, that's unfortunate because we're going to burn off most of our cloak here, but we're going to burst laser them in the weapons. And we heck, also fire this in the weapons. Perfect. They've done only one weapon left. That's what we'd like to see. And uh, I'm interested. Yeah, we actually do lock the battery power in there. That's cool. I wonder what happened last time then, because I thought we had it set up close to that last time, but it didn't do anything. All right. That's a lot of missing. I like seeing that. Flak, go. And burst laser, go. Hull laser, go. There we go. Now you got nothing. You got no weapons left. You ain't got nothing on us. You got a breach in your hull, too. So as far as I can tell, these drones still can't repair breaches. So they should be permanently locked down now. We can kill them at our leisure. So, first laser go, whole laser go. There we go. We got our timing set up a little bit better. Now they can't dodge, so they're going to be dead soon. And that's great. That is great indeed. Flak, go. And we unleash the burst and the hull laser. And they are dead. Fantastic. 
Ship breaks apart and we get two fuel, a drone part, and 27 scrap. When we contact the civilians, they were apparently a science vessel. They thank us for saving them and offer us a reward of three more fuel, one more drone part, and 55 more scrap, which is awesome. So that'll let us buy more power if we immediately want it, but I think we might hold on to that a little bit longer. I don't know, it's, kind of, it's probably a silly thing to do. What can we buy right now? Maybe more cloaking would be nice. Or more evasion, maybe doors for real. I'm going to buy more cloaking and buy the power for it, and then we'll buy doors after that. Because this gives us a bit more power to actually work with. More power is definitely important on this ship. So let's keep jumping and see what else we can find. We come across another Rebel Automated Scout ship pursuing a civilian ship with weapons engaged. Well, let's help those civilians too! We power up weapons and engage this some automated ship, which is also a hacker with exactly the same loadout? <laughs> I just killed you! How are you here? I just killed you. This is weird. That's very weird. Well, we're gonna do exactly the same thing to them, because it's easy and it works. There we go, all your shots miss. We flack you. And we burst laser hull laser you. There we go, you've got your burst laser mark two left online, but that's not gonna last very long for you, I don't think. Because we're going to flack you again, then we're going to blast you again. You're not going to get through our shields. Nice shots, though. You actually hit us all of those ones. That's unfortunate for us. Fire lasers, fire lasers. We broke your hacking system and your weapons. Again. <laughs> this is... This is silly. Why are we fighting exactly the same enemy again? Especially when he was so easy to beat the first time. Whatever. Whatever. Flack him again. Burst laser, hull laser. And there we go. They're down to one shield. Next time we'll go for the helm there, make sure they can't dodge us. I don't mind, I mean, getting these free resources is awesome, but... Kind of a weirdly easy thing to suddenly have to deal with. Flak, go. Lasers. Oh, a lot of missing happened there. That's why we were aiming for the helm in the first place. Thankfully they have no shields left now, so I don't have to wait for anything, I just kill them. Pew pew. Probably didn't have to wait before either, there's only one shield bar left, but whatever. The ship breaks apart, and we get another two fuel missile and 23 scrap. We contact the civilian this time, and wow, they say that they're a shipwright, and they'd like to help us like we help them, giving us 26 scrap and another ion charger. Well, if we could sell that, that would be awesome, and we can, in fact, sell that, so that's awesome. We're going to jump over to the store here and get rid of this ion charger. We arrive at a small space station that's putting out wideband broadcasts on black market channels. We doubt they turn away any business, regardless of allegiances. Alright, so we could get a drone recovery arm. Well, that's kind of cool. No other pages, though, so we can't get anything else here. So there's not a lot of great stuff for us to buy. We're going to sell this charge ion. I think I'm going to sell this charge ion, too, because I'm not going to use it again. I don't know if I'm going to use this flak either, though. I could probably sell that and get more money out of it, and the life form scanner. Because this is a pretty powerful combo, and putting a flak in there actually makes this combo a bit less effective, I think. Might be better against the flagship, though, still. We might try it against stage one of the flagship, just to be crazy. It's, it's a bit of a... A, sc a scrap sink, we get 40 scrap out of it, but I think I'm just going to sell this and move on. I'll put that up in there. And we'll see if we can upgrade even to be able to use that, who knows. And we'll sell the life form scanner too, because I don't think I really need that. There we go, it gives us some more scrap to burn. And there's no point in buying any of these things as far as I can really tell. This drone recovery arm would be kind of nice, except that we don't really use a lot of drones anymore. So I think we're just going to ignore it, and I'm not going to buy anything else here. Buying any more hull doesn't even help us because we're going to be getting a bunch of free hull once we reach the end of the exit. So, we're going to go to our ship here and we're going to power ourselves up with this money instead. I could buy the extra weapon power and we could go for double flak if we wanted to try it, but I have no idea how effective that'll be. You know what? Heck to it. Let's just try it. We're ready to go for double flak. So, the odds of double flak being super powerful are pretty low against most enemies. This is a good buffer zone anyway, but that's going to let us hit enemies that have a very vulnerable ship layout pretty darn hard. So let's jump to the next sector over this way, and then we'll keep going. Jump to the next sector. Jump to this beacon, rather. What do we see here? A nearby space station hails us, saying, Greetings, your arrivals most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps we can make a deal. We could sell them three drone parts for four fuel. We don't need, actually, all that much fuel anymore, so maybe that'd be a good deal? Yeah, why not? Here, sure. I'd never normally do that, but we're really close to the exit, and we're gonna get a bunch of free fuel anyway, so I'll take the drone parts, sure. Let's keep jumping. What do we see here? We stumble across a forward scout of the Rebel fleet. Dun 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 dun! They're piling up the FTL drive, and if they get away, they'll no doubt warn the fleet of our position. We can't have that now, can we? So, let's probably not double flak this guy. This is looks this, this looks like a good opportunity to use our uh, our normal flak hull laser burst laser strategy, because 
there's still a bunch of empty space there, and we can actually benefit from being able to focus fire at their helm and weapons here. So we'll do this, that. Here we go. They're going to be firing at us in a second, but then we're just going to dodge it. That one I'll probably just let fire. Yeah, a couple hits there anyway. All right, Flak is... Oh, more shots coming our way. Thankfully, both of those missed. Flak is away, and burst laser helm. Hull laser weapons, I think. No, we'll do it the other way around. We'll do... I'm paused anyway, which isn't great, but burst laser weapons. Hull laser helm. Oh, we missed! That's bad news. That's actually really bad news. We actually missed them there. We knocked off this thing, though, which is the main thing I wanted to avoid. So let's cloak here and make sure that we don't take any unnecessary extra damage. But they're going to be running away soon, which is not what we wanted. Their FTL is going to be charged soon. We can jump before they jump so we don't lose the enemy uh, advantage on us, but that's really irritating. And here they go. We're going to blast them if we can. Okay, we delayed them, but they're going to be jumping as soon as they get that fixed, which is going to be soon, because they have two people working on it. So if they fix that system, we need to leave. Or we need to break their engines before they can do that. Nope, nope, they're getting out of here, so we're leaving. Alright, we don't want to double the rebel advancement right now, so we're going to jump over this way and just let those guys go. They can go. It's unfortunate we lose the money, but we're really not good at killing people quickly. A rebel ship hails, saying... We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of a better galaxy. He locks weapons. Alright, well, they've got an attack drone and a Vulcan. Oh, no. Alright, they've got a Vulcan. Thankfully, we have a cloak here, so they can't do too much to us if we don't want them to, but they do have a Vulcan. As we know from our last run through, the Vulcan is one of the most insanely powerful weapons in this entire game. We're going to power up our defenses here to get ourselves extra oxygen, because why not? And we're going to be getting out of the way here quickly. Once we fire our weapons off, we're going to dodge to make sure they can't do anything else to us. They might even have boarding drones of some kind, which would really suck. But Flak is away, and Burst Laser is weapons, and Hull Laser is weapons. Oh, don't do that when you're paused. There we go. Vulcan's offline and on fire. That's what we like to see. All right, we're going to cloak now, so you can't hit us back. We get to keep our Zoltan Overshield for longer, and we get to recharge our weapons, because we're not going to be firing for these 15 seconds anyway. And the weapons have burned out entirely, which is great for us. So, Flak is ready. We're going to fire that over there, and we're trying to take out their drones to keep ourselves even safer. Flak is away, and we go... Burst laser, hull laser, and they're trying to surrender, offering us seven missiles, two scrap, and twenty-two missile, two drone parts, rather, and twenty-three scrap. We don't accept their surrender, though, and we go for blood. All right, the drones are pretty badly damaged now. This guy's probably going to turn off soon. We've lost the extra power we were using in the oxygen, but that's fine. There we go. We've lost our Zoltan shield, but we're still okay because they have no firepower at all anymore. Flak goes for the shields, and death happens. Goodbye, Rebel Rigger. All right. Ship explodes, giving us one missile, one drone part, and 57 scrap. Fantastic. Which, With which we're probably just going to buy power at the moment. Where do we jump to? We can jump over here, I guess, and then head to the exit. We might have enough time for one more jump and then to the exit, but probably not, because they're going to be, like, here. So we're going to go to the exit very shortly. So let's jump over here and see what happens. We'll hold on to our 79 scrap for a little bit longer. A small shuttle appears on the local radar. Turns out it's a rebel automated scout with mind control and missiles and super lasers. But that doesn't matter because we've got giant cloaks. So you can't do much to us anyway. Alright. We're actually pretty powerful now. I was a bit worried we'd be underpowered by the time we made it to the end. But getting that extra burst laser powered up really increases our firepower. The flak is really good at getting down multiple levels of shields. So we're going to cloak now. Hang on, turn this off for a second. Cloak now. Oh, I meant to bring that up to two bars. But whatever. We're going to fire immediately anyway so it doesn't hurt too much to have less firepower. So... Flak is away, and first laser hull laser is away. There we go. All your weapons are offline. I'm sorry, friend. Were you planning on doing anything to us today? Because that's not going to happen anymore. All right. Power up more firepower. Take up the auto surveyor. Flak is away. I'm going to go for the helm this time to prevent them from actually dodging anymore. Oh, they managed to block that shot, which would have hit them. Thankfully, their weapons are now breached, so they can never repair them. So now it's just a matter of time. We are going to aim for the helm, though, to make sure that they can't ever run away from us, because that's probably what they're going to try and do soon if we don't kill them. Immediately, rather. So that goes away. Burst laser, hull lasers away. And you can't run. You're dead. Goodbye, auto-surveyor. Nice working with you. 
Ship explodes, giving us a fuel, a missile, and 54 scrap, which is great. And let's get to the exit and get out of here, because I'm pretty sure we don't get any more jumps out of this. Let's take a quick look, though, because we might be able to. I think it's going to be really, really close, though. And if we're not exactly right, they're going to get out of here. So we have about this much distance. Then about this much distance. You know what? We might actually have room for another jump here. Let's just do one more quick visual guesstimation here. It's about that far. Yeah, no, I think we actually have enough room for another jump. Might be a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to jump over here and then jump back to the exit and see if we can get out without dying. If I'm wrong, I'll be super annoyed. But whatever. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Nope, we're not going to mess with that. Not right now. Back to the exit it is. That was a bit of a waste, but whatever. Actually, while we're here, what, do I, what else do I want to buy? More evasion would be really nice. We don't have high-level shields, so we need to be able to dodge. Our Zoltan shield is great, but it won't keep us alive for long against the flagship. Getting more doors would be good, too. You know what? We're just going to hold on to our money for a little bit longer. Jump to the exit, and we'll see what happens. We're down only four fuel, which means we can get to the next area with three. But we'll be okay there. We've arrived at the long-range beacon. We have to drive this charge. We can jump to the next sector. And here, wow, we find a, a pirate ship nearby. Strangely, scans indicate there are no life forms aboard. We get two fuel, two missiles, and 38 scrap out of the salvage, though. Mysterious. Let's jump to the next sector. The last stand. We made it! In hard mode, we made it to the last stand. That's pretty good. <laughs> We arrive at Notepost close to the Federation base. Our access codes get us passionless security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission to him, and our explanation is met with nothing but murmurs and cynicism, cynicism, in fact, and disbelief amongst the officers. General Terzel of the Engine Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. When we explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship, Tully responds, saying, It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and the other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. Ten fuel, ten hull repair. Awesome. We made it. Whew. That was quite the struggle to get here. We have 171 scrap to spend. And... I am actually going to need to run away for a second because my voice is getting dry and I'm out of water again for the finale here. So let's go get ourselves some more water and we'll be back to take on the flagship. Should only be a matter of seconds for you guys. So, one moment. Alright, so this is actually some time later. I wound up getting caught up in some other things. Didn't have a chance to come back to this right away. So let's keep moving here and see what else we can accomplish. We have 171 scrap to burn still, and we still could use some more upgrades. I think what we're going to do first is buy ourselves an upgrade here for the engines. And we might even go ahead and get a second one, since I think we'll be able to make enough money to get our door upgrades, which I'd like before we move on, and our helm upgrades before we move on, in the upcoming jumps. So I'm not too worried about that. We are a little bit pressed for time here, though, because they are quite close to the base, and they can get there in only three jumps, and it'll take us a while to get over there ourselves. Plus, they're almost guaranteed to take over our repair station on the way, which is going to make things a bit more difficult for us. So let's take on our last stand here. We're hailed by a rebel ship. When the rebellion's complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. And they arm weapons. Alright, well, we got a flat cannon with your name on it, bub. Let's see what you think about this. They got a lot of lasers. They got a chain laser and a charge laser, which is an interesting combo. Not too worried, especially if their aim is that bad. We should be able to tank this out pretty safely. There's the beam coming through. They can't really hurt us very likely. Flak is away, and I think we're just going to charge down the weapons again. They have boarded us now, but that's fine too, because we have anti-boarding crew we can easily send over there. The halberd beam's offline, which means that their main source of firepower is gone. We can cloak if we need to as well. And they've actually lost the charge laser as well, so it looks like we're in a pretty solid spot here. We're going to flak again and hopefully take these guys down even further. Just keeping an eye on our melee fighters over there, because we don't want them to die or anything silly. And we missed a whole bunch of shots. Alright, thankfully we were able to take them down pretty safely, and they've actually run away. So we're going to run our people in to heal. And I think we're doing just fine here. We'll send them back to stations momentarily. Get another flak shot coming in. Hopefully we can knock out those weapons again. Keep that halberd beam offline. And the flak is away. We burst and call. Lots of missing happening again. They're down to just the halberd beam now, which is a weird combination. Send crew back to their stations. There we go. We still have no teleporters, so we can't do any boarding strategies in the upcoming battles. But then again, we're playing on hard, so... Boarding doesn't have the value it used to against the flagship. We're just looking for raw firepower now. Flak is away. <coughs> And we go 
First laser hull laser. Well, we did a bit of damage. They try and surrender, offering us five missiles, a drum part, and 32 scrap, but five missiles don't help us at all, so we're gonna kill them and hopefully get some more scrap, or maybe some more drone parts or something. Not that it really matters at this point. At this point, we just need more money. <clears throat> so, that's what we're going for. Power back from the med bay into the engines as well, because we don't need to waste any power there. And, burst laser, hull laser. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Rebel fighter goes down. Fantastic. Ship explodes, giving us three fuel, drone part, and 40 scrap. That's better on all counts. Fantastic. With 40 scrap, we're going to immediately power up our doors, because being able to not be boarded all the time is probably one of our high priorities right now, so we'll do that. We're also going to keep jumping. Here we go. What do we find here? Long-range scanners show this system is empty of any capital ships. Clearly, it is not a strategic value. We find FTL signatures show our scout just jump nearby. They got a lot of rockets, too, which is scary. But we should be able to take down those weapons pretty quick. We have a cloak to dodge them both. Hopefully, they're both the same kind of rocket, both Hermes or Breach. So we can... They, they must be both Hermes. They can't be both Breach. They have another two-shot laser... Or a three-shot laser over there. Nice missing. That's fantastic. All right. So here goes the flak. There we go. Burst hull. There we go. Knocked out one of the missiles, and we cloak. I should be using my battery here to give us more cloaking time, but that doesn't really matter too much. We're going to get another flak ready to fire, and hopefully take these guys out nice and quick before they can do too much else to us. There should be another laser salvo coming in soon, but that's fine. Laser, hull laser. And everything's gone except for that missile. We should be able to tank that in the hull at least once. So that's not a problem. Get the flak ready to go again. Actually, if these are breach missiles, we should be able to recharge the cloak in time, because they're the longest... Uh, reload time weapon, <laughs> basically, in that respect. First laser, hull laser, and we're ready to cloak again, so we do just that, so they can't hit us. There we go, we also set the weapons on fire, which means that's not going to be happening anytime soon. All the weapons are down now, fantastic. They should burn out completely in a second or two. There we go. And flak ready to go again. This time I think we'll take out the shield to make sure they can't easily block us as much. Flak goes off. First laser, hull laser. There we go. Down to only two bars of shields guarantees that we should kill them next time if the fire in the engines doesn't start doing damage to them first. Their crew is definitely not in a great spot though, because those fires are starting to run rampant in their ship. The flak is away, and they are dead. <laughs> Goodbye, Rebel Fighter. Nice try. Alright, ship explodes, giving us a fuel of drone part and 59 scrap, which is great, because that lets us power up our helm. And I might hold on to the rest of this money for a little bit longer. We can jump to the repair beacon and get a bit of healing, which might not be a bad idea, because I think we're going to get beat up soon. So let's do that now, then we can jump away and jump back. Plus this gives us a bit more scrap anyway, as they've changed how the repair beacons work. There we go. So, a forward construction station is in the process of repairing damaged warships. Our command codes convince them to do a quick patch job on our ship, giving us 5 fuel, 4 missiles, 5 drone parts, 41 scrap, and 9 hull repair. Awesome. So with this, what do we want to spend it on? Probably a bit more power, so we're not relying so much on random chance with the battery lasting long enough. We want at least one more, two more. We can't quite get three more power, so we'll take what we can get there. We're going to experiment against the flagship here, try something silly. We're going to go for double flag hull laser. I have no idea how effective this is going to be, but the area we're aiming at on the flagship is pretty massive, so there's a good chance we won't miss them at all. Plus, this will give us the ability to max out our evasion at its current level, and we can always use the battery to run drones and increase our cloaking time. So that should work out okay for us. Now, they're going to come right here. We're going to jump away, then jump back, because we know we have three turns when they're on the base before we actually get it captured. So we have a little bit of time to work around here and get ourselves a bit more money, if we can. We'll experiment with the double flag strategy, too. Sensors indicate that the Rebels are setting up a forward jump beacon in a nearby planet's moon. More importantly, a number of ships are passing by, and we have to prepare to fight. They got a Vulcan. Two Vulcans. Wow. That's actually vicious. Thankfully, we can cloak out and slow them down and hopefully blast out the weapons before they can do too much to us, but that's actually pretty scary. I think we're going to go off the flak and go back on the double lasers so we can actually uh, make sure we take these guys down, because I really do not want to get hit by two Vulcans. <laughs> that's pretty evil. So I have to go for the first flak, we're going to go for the big cloak timer here to protect us from the Vulcans while we charge up the fire again and give us a better chance of taking them out completely before they can vaporize us. Because two Vulcans is death. It is death in gun form. So the, that is away, we go burst laser, hull laser. There we go, we've knocked out one of the Vulcans, and now we cloak. No, that's the battery. Now we cloak. Push the wrong activatable button with a long timer. There we go. <clears throat> 
bit of a waste of the battery, but it doesn't really make much of a difference at this point. And we have the flak ready to go again, so we'll fire the flak over there. Flak is away, fantastic. Burst laser, hold laser. There we go, that's what we wanted to see. All the weapons are broken. We killed one of their crew, but he's going to respawn here in no time, no doubt. I like how this room still has an airlock over there, but the AI is never going to use it. Alright, we're safe now from the double Vulcan rebel invader. And this should be a pretty damaging hit here. Ah, only got one point to actually do damage there. Plus we killed another crew, which is great. So now they're not in the helm, so we can't miss them anymore. So that's lovely. I could cloak now, but it really doesn't serve any purpose because they can't shoot at us anyway, so we'll just sit here. Oh, he's going to make it back to the helm before I fire again. Oh well. We did fix one of the Vulcans, but that's not going to last long because the system's back on fire again. So that's what we like to see. Interestingly enough, even with the clone bay, they don't run into the fires. And they are dead. Goodbye, Rebel Invader. Nice try. Ship explodes, giving us, giving us another missile drone part in 46 more scrap. With this 72 scrap, we're probably going to buy another power bar. I might go for maximum level doors, though. That's probably a good idea. Max level doors will protect us a lot from the boarding drones in Stage 2. So let's get that set up for now. And I guess we go fight the flagship, because we're getting close to our base, and we can't have that now, can we? So... <clears throat> Here is the moment of truth. We're going to experiment now with the double flak strategy. Let's see how viable this, these shenanigans are. Here goes nothing. Alright. This is it. The Rebel flagship. If we can destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. Alright. So. Main weapons here, of course, the rocket launchers. We're going to try and avoid them as best we can using our cloak. Probably going to turn off the oxygen to run the cloak and not bother about using the battery until later, if we can help it. Here come some laser shots. Oh, good misses. Alright, and they've already fired the rockets, so we're going to cloak now. Reason is, it's not worth really tanking them on the shield, because they're going to be firing ion weapons and uh, beams soon anyway. So it's just going to turn it off anyway. So let's just make sure we're safe. Activate the cloak. There we go. Bit of a long cloak timer, but they're going to cloak out too, so it's not going to make much of a difference. There's no point in us firing now because they're about to cloak again. I really don't want to waste it, so we're going to wait until after they cloak. It should be, yeah, right there. So we might have probably missed them with our actual projectiles if we had fired too early there, which is why I didn't want to mess around with it. And there goes our shield. And they're hacking our doors, which is perfect. It's like one of the best rooms they could possibly choose to hack. And here comes the flak. We're going to hull laser them in here, but this flak should do a lot of damage, because there's basically nowhere for it to miss to. Fire the flax, and hull laser go. That was pretty good. We knocked the shields down to one bar already. Very nice. Let's get the double flak set up again. And we'll try and knock out that missile system still. More missiles are on their way. We might be able to dodge these ones. Well, they missed us anyway. Eh... Cloaking now doesn't help us. And they missed all of those shots. Wow, awesome. We're going to power up the emergency battery to give ourselves more oxygen. And we're going to fire the flax again. Hull lasers go. <laughs> Down to three hull. That's craziness. All right, cloaking time. That'll let us regenerate quite nicely. <laughs> Two can play at that game, Rebel Flagship. That's awesome. That's crazy powerful against the flagship. You just ravaged them. Those rooms are too large. Just fire this over here and they're going to take another bazillion damage. We can hull laser them to death too. Alright, flax are away. Hull laser is away. <laughs> Poor flagship. They didn't stand a chance there. The flax aren't great against most ships, but they just destroy the flagship. Just as we gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. In their new state, they have to get close to the base to be a threat, so we bought ourselves some time. We have to keep up the assault with three fuel, two missiles, and 21 more scrap added to our supplies. With that, I think we're going to buy another power bar so I can actually just run this oxygen all the time. There we go. Now we only need our battery to help us run drones if we want to be able to use them and everything else at the same time. So that's not so bad. We also have a lot of empty power bars here. We didn't make a lot of money with this ship, surprisingly enough. <laughs> then again, like I mentioned earlier, we didn't really fight a lot of things. So they're going straight to the base, so we're going to go and intercept them. This is the drone wave, so they're going to be trying to send boarding drones at us as quickly as they can. Thankfully, they've lost the triple ion, so it's the beam that's going to be messing us up and letting them in quickly. We're going to go for the flak strategy again, though, and just try and blast the hole in them so they die quickly. We can use the cloak to help dodge out if we need to. But let's see what happens. Let's go chase them down. Double flak hull laser. 
Here we are. We chase down the flagship and discover it's heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it has redirected considerable power to its drones, and here comes the battle. Alright, so they actually have a lot of drones that are going to wreck our shields immediately, too. I didn't even think about that. That is absolutely correct. And thankfully, it's only a defense drone Mark 1, which is not that dangerous. But I will wreck our shields super quickly. So we're going to be using our cloak to dodge the rockets again, as usual. And we'll see what happens. Here comes the boarding drone. And probably an ion intruder. So we're not super keen on that. If we can get these two things to fire first, no, there it is. Alright, that's bad news. We're gonna have to tank this, I think, because... Yeah, there's there's both in there. Oh no. Thankfully, they're both going way over here, it looks like. Oh, there's just one. Okay. So we fired off the flax, and the hull laser is away, and we're cloaked out. There we go. Put a breach in there, that's what we like to see. Now there is a power surge coming, so we should be able to tank that out quite nicely too. We're actually going to send our Mantis in here to deal with this guy, perhaps. Since he is in the med bay, we should be able to power that if we just activate our backup battery here. Run the med bay. We should be able to be pretty much safe in here, although we will start suffocating eventually. I don't really want to fight him. I just want to stop him from doing damage to our ship. We have our flax more or less ready again, so we're going to get ready to fire them into the shields, and we're going to haul laser the drone control this time, I think, to turn off the boarding drone, since the missiles are already slower. And hull laser into the drone control, go! <laughs> that's viciously powerful. Alright, he's down, so that's good. We can now leave the med bay, come back over here, and reactivate our sensors so we can see what's going on in the enemy ship. Alright. There's going to be some rockets coming away soon, I think, and another power surge, which might do some serious damage to us if we're unlucky. Uh-oh, bad timing. No, 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 no. Okay, oxygen's down. This is bad. This is very bad. We're going to take a lot of hurt here, most likely. Flax are away, though. We should be able to kill them this salvo. Our cloak is almost ready. Hull laser them somewhere. Should kill them. Yep, good. Rebel flagship is down. They are right on the way, though, with rockets. Dodge. All right, we dodged as much as we could there. Only took five damage, which is actually quite reasonable. And we gain the upper hand. They find, a way make it, they find another way to make an FDL jump. In their new state, they have to get close to the base to be a threat, so we bought ourselves some time. We have to keep up the assault with three fuel, two missiles, and 20 scrap. Whew, and the drone explodes, too. Awesome. So we're going to send these guys in here to go fix this. We're going to send you in there to go fix that. All right. Envy and Gluttony can go fix the med bay while they're suffocating in there quite nicely. And Wrath can fix the oxygen. I should go fix this too, but we'll do that after. Alright. Everything is repaired. Fantastic. And... This is awesome, though. This this is some serious firepower we have right here. Some pretty outrageously po powerful firepower. Make sure we heal up Gluttony, fix up our drone bay, and go in for the final stage, where they're going to be trying to use Mind Control against us. Now, Mind Control is pretty nasty if they take over our helm, which is why I upgraded the helm earlier. I'd like to have upgraded it again, but that's not going to be reasonable in the amount of money we have, and given the other things we've needed. So, I think we'll just have to make do without. But, this is looking pretty good. The double flak combo is exceptionally powerful against the flagship, like I thought it might be. And this is working out really well. So, they do have the Zoltan Overshield this time. So I might activate the Beam Drone just to help, like, burn off that Zoltan Shield quicker. But, I'm unsure. The Mind Control is probably the biggest concern we have. Because if it takes out our pilot, it really messes up our ability to dodge. And it's a long Mind Control, too. There's a store right there, and he's actually leaving, so we could go to one more jump and see if we could get enough money. Actually, could I go to the store and sell something? Is there anything I can get rid of? Not really. I could get rid of one of these lasers, but that's not really a lot of money. It would be enough to buy ourselves the sensors, though. Let's go here first, and then we'll jump back and harass him in a second, because we can go here and hopefully get some money off of another ship, and then go back in. What do we find here? Two fleets fight nearby. We try to skirt around the edge of the battle and keep out of weapons range, but a rebel scout spots us and moves in. Alright, so they got a big missile and a little missile and a dual shock heavy laser from the looks of things. So I think we're going to go back off of double flak strategy onto double laser strategy, and we will go from there. So we'll go back to the original arrangement so I don't have to mess up my timings again. And there we go. So when the flak goes off, we will blast them. This should be a Lido, might be an Artemis. We'll see what happens when it hits us. This might be a breach missile, which would make it really nice. Doesn't matter what it is, because it missed us. Ow, oh, those both didn't miss, though. Alright, so the flak is away. Good, and we're going to fire the... Oh, there's that missile again. We're going to fire burst laser, hull laser, I think, at the weapons. 
Oh, lots of misses. That's not cool. It's an Artemis. Okay. Thankfully, it's also broken now. So that doesn't matter. Oh, it actually fired at us. That's not cool. I didn't notice it actually launching. That was a lot of unnecessary damage right there. Ow. Alright, you get out of the weapon system. And we're going to uh, vent out those fires. That was silly of me. Alright, well, they want to come fight us in the med bay. We'll fight them in the med bay. I thought we had uh, successfully knocked it down before they boarded us, but apparently not. That sucks. Alright, power in the med bay then. We don't need that anymore. Power, close those doors, open internal doors so we can get some breathing air back in that room. There we go, and send you back in. Now you're very low on health there, friend, but I think you'll be fine. I'd love to send you some crew to help you repair that quicker because you're gonna be there all day otherwise, but I don't really have the option right now, so we're just gonna flack these guys a couple more times. We should be able to kill their boarding party pretty easily, though. They sent a missile our way, so we're gonna dodge. I should have just used the defense drone there, but I didn't even see it fire, otherwise I would have blocked it, I think. Alright, they're gonna die because they can't cloak home. We're gonna send these guys to go help fix the weapon system. They did fix the big missiles, which isn't cool. Alright, let's get the burst laser online here so we can hopefully fire quickly enough to avoid too much extra damage. They boarded us again, it looks like, you jerks. Alright, well, we're not too worried about that. We're gonna use the defense drone for the next one since we have that power free anyway. Defense drone, I might as well put you active now just to make sure we don't take any other silly hits like that. Thank you. We've almost got this fully repaired, so we can turn on the other laser as well. We don't have enough power now, so we activate the battery, then we turn on the other drone, the other laser. We're gonna flack him and go straight for the burst laser shot though to turn off one of those missiles. We didn't turn off either of the missiles, cool. Alright, and we'll send our anti-border party to go get rid of this guy. Now we're gonna take a lot of borders in the next wave, no doubt. Just cloak here for safety's sake because of the fact that we didn't kill much of their crew up until now. So we're gonna get boarded pretty hard, which is why I wanted those extra doors as well. So let's send our crew back to their stations for now. We can go heal them up after the fight. Flak is ready to go, then double lasers are ready to go. And they're dead. Nice try, Rebel Invader. You did a good amount of damage to us. You did more damage than the flagship, basically, up until now. Equal damage to the flagship, I guess. And we got 29 scrap, and that is going to allow us to upgrade our helm to level 3, which is what I wanted to make sure we don't accidentally, we're not accidentally forced to blow it up. Here we go, we'll send our crew into the med bay, heal them up a little, and get back to positions to continue the fighting. We should be okay here now, though. We're looking pretty solid. We got what I wanted. I took a bit of extra damage in the process, but we got what we wanted. It's too bad we took that damage, though, because there was really no reason for it, which is the sad part. But whatever, here we go back to the double flak hull laser combo. We could use the burst laser instead, but this has the chance of doing breaching, which is really awesome. We don't have the fire chance that the laser does, though, so it's really a hit or miss, I guess. We can have breach chance or fire chance, but I like breaching because it really slows down how quickly they can actually start repairing the system. Fire might honestly be better. I don't know. They both have a low chance, though. We'll keep the hull laser for now. It doesn't really matter. And let's head back in to that flagship. We could go to the store again if we wanted, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go fight the flagship and see if we can really take them down this time. So, double flak hull laser combo. Here we go. We're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it's sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. Here we go. Mind control is definitely a concern, but we'll turn the beam drone on immediately to start blasting off that Zoltan shield. It's going to be very slow going, but any, any damage on it is good damage on it. Because we're going to have to basically waste our first two flak blasts at it, which is really time-removing on us. Alright, so we're going to cloak out this missile salvo by cloaking now, I guess. And we're going to not be able to cloak out the super wave, unfortunately, because we're firing right now. But that's fine. We're actually going to try and break the mind control with our hull laser. No such luck. But we blasted off the Zoltan Shield, which is good enough. Here comes the Power Surge, which would have been really nice to be able to cloak out, but that's not going to happen because we have no cloak left. Hopefully we don't take too much damage here. Oh, they fired that at the same time. Oop. That could have been bad, but thankfully was not. They've mind-controlled our Engineer, but that's not so bad either. We're going to take some damage this right, like right now, so we're going to quickly turn that drone off, turn the defense drone on. Hopefully he blocks... Oop, battery just wore out. Hopefully he blocks some of them. We're going to quickly power up the defense drone again. He's probably not going to be able to act quickly enough. Oh, we bucked one of them, which is good enough. All right. Gluttony here is dealing with Ekman quite nicely, so that's good. We still have our border in the engines, which is greed, but that's fine too. Close those doors. Get ready for another flak combo here, and we're going to stop their mind control this time. 
No, maybe we aren't. We're just going to reduce the timer on the mind control because our aim is not very good. More lasers coming in. We should be able to cloak out the uh, the big wave this time. Here's the rockets. We're going to cloak those to make sure we don't take any unnecessary hits. Since we don't have the battery power, it's not so good for us to be uh, messing around here with other things. All right. They're almost dead. Goodbye there, friend. All right. The mind control has ended, which is good. We can repair that a single point of engine damage. We're going to cloak and hide out this power surge just to make sure we don't take any unnecessary hits. They're going to board us with another two people in a second, but that's fine. We are going to double flak them and hull laser again. There we go. That's what we're talking about for damage. And we're going to activate the battery to turn our O2 back on. We're going to send these two crew to go deal with the boarders. We don't really need the super doors right now if we're going to be fighting them. There we go. Flax are almost ready to go. Now we're going to probably take another set of rockets right now. Yep, can't do anything about that, but hopefully our drone can block some of them. Yep, blocked some of the ones that missed. I like how they're now trying to go into the room that just got breached. Whatever. We're going to fire off another set of flax here, which should do some good damage. Here we go. And they boarded us again in the med bay, but that should be fine still. We're going to hull laser that mind control, which should kill them. Yes! <laughs> we won! Fantastic. Oh man, that double flag combo is powerful. Thanks to the valiant effort of the VSS Damnation and our successful crew, Wrath, Greed, Sloth, Lust, Pride, Envy, and Gluttony, the Rebels' flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. Fantastic. That was a challenging game, but those double flags were basically, like, having two of them didn't help us all game until we got to the flagship, at which point it just demolished them. Awesome. So we got 5,017 points there, which isn't on our high scoreboard, but it is... An awesome score. I think it's higher than any... Oh, no, not higher than the Fruit, which was the one we unlocked this ship with, or the Archon. It was better than any of our Zoltan Type A ship runs, though, which is awesome. What was our ships defeated? Only 38 ships defeated. Wow. We had 97 beacons explored, which is a pretty good number for that. 1,615 scrap collected, which is a little low, and 7 crew hired, which is actually perfect. Getting more than 7 crew would have been kind of unfortunate with this name, naming scheme. So that was actually really great. 5,017 points. And of course, that's because we get a bonus from being on hard mode. But we did it! With the Zoltan, the Zoltan Type C, we win on hard in Advanced Edition. Whew! <laughs> that was a mess. We'll see if we can... Uh, Keep doing stuff like this in the future, though. That was pretty awesome. Very hard ship to get started with, but that worked out really nicely. All right, well, thank you all for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing some FTL's Advanced Edition here on hard mode with the Zoltan Cruiser Type C. If you've enjoyed today's episode, let me know what you thought about in the comments. Thank you again very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye.